Hey guys, welcome back to the Yugaman01 official channel. And today, guys, I have a story. I have something very important that I want to share with you. This is both a personal story and it is something that has been going on between, you know, some of my friends. And we've been sharing quite a lot of late. So, we know we're in a period that is actually very, very disturbing. So many people have got so many setbacks and so many people have a lot of issues cutters of COVID and all other factors that this COVID-19 actually brought into our environment, uh, affecting what we do and what we have been depending on. Now, first and foremost, if you're watching me for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so that you get all the notifications whenever we put up a video on the channel. So guys, so many of us are now living in a period where we're regretting and we're cursing. And we're cursing because we made decisions that have been affected by the circumstances that we're going through currently. I have a friend of mine who actually I've been sharing with for the last two months. And he is hating life. He is getting to a level where he feels life does not make sense anymore. And I think this is happening to so many other people. We've read stories where people have been depressed. We've read stories where people no longer have the capability to think straight, no longer understand what is going on in their lives. And this is what I'm here to tell you today, guys, that this situation which I'm talking about is happening to a lot of people that are around you and a lot of people that are around me. And we need to understand how to create the resilience that we need to go through tough times. Now, I'll tell you, many of us go through a lot of things and sometimes we keep them to ourselves because we don't think the world is gonna buy into our stories. And so many people do not actually have the capacity to hold back what has been hurting them or what is hurting them. And as a result, people's mental illness goes up. The rate so people getting mental disturbances goes up. And this is what we need to recognize at this point. Now, the reason I'm doing this video and why you need to watch it up to the real end is I want to tell you something, that resilience and courage are very important to us as we do everything we do in our everyday life. It could be your work, it could be your home, it could be your children, it could be anything, your passion, your talent, everything that you're doing. And sometimes you're going to get the setbacks. Sometimes you're going to have people hate you. Sometimes people are going to hate you for doing the right things. Sometimes people are going to neglect you because you're doing something they don't believe in, but you are convinced that what you're doing is the right thing. One thing that I need to ask you today is your resilience is actually an answer to someone who is going through a lot of tough times. Every time you are sitting down and you think of what you're going to be doing tomorrow and you think of what you're going to be saying to this person that is hurting in your house, to this child that has been asking you questions but you just cannot give them the answers, to this parent that just cannot get what they need to feed their children, to this adult who has lost their job because of COVID-19, the resilience you have towards how you conduct yourself is the example that those around you do pick from you. Now, what I want to tell you today, my friends, is so many times we have examples that we set for the people around us, but we don't know it. And sometimes people will tell you, hey, I kept on going because I saw you going. I kept on doing this because I saw you doing this. And I think this is where we need now to understand that, hey, every single action we do in our everyday life is what sets an example for the rest of the people that are watching it. People do not actually listen so much to what you say. People watch what you're doing and that gives them the motivation, that gives them the courage to go on. I'll tell you something. This friend of mine that has been going through a tough time lost a job just at the beginning of COVID. They had a house where they were staying, but they, because they lost the job, they had no money to pay for it. Okay, And this is what has started the entire journey of breaking down. But this person came out to speak about it 
came out to talk about it because he's seen some people go through tough times. He's seen some people resiliently going through a hard time and creating something he did not expect those people to do. So you have the power, you have the motivation, you have the courage. That courage that you have as an individual is what is going to help others overcome their troubles, is what is going to help others overcome their burdens. I'll tell you something, the biggest disease that we face today may not be HIV AIDS, may not be cancer. The biggest disease we face today is mental breakdown. And mental breakdown is such a very, very bad disease to the level that people shut out of the world. And when someone shuts out, they just cannot think straight. They just cannot have that resilience that takes them forward. And I want to tell you, if you're watching this video, I want you today to reach out to five people. Five people you think may have been affected by this COVID-19. Five people you think may be having tough times right now because I know you know it. And I know you know these friends. You know these people. You've taken so long without meeting each other. I want you to pick your phone today and text them. Text those five people. Ask them how they are coping up. A lot will be revealed in that communication that they are going to give back to you. But your resilience, your example that you set to them is what will keep them going. I want to say to you, my friends, that the world has never shut out anyone unless you try to shut out yourself. And why that is true is because when you face your troubles, when you come out and speak about it, when you come out and talk about it, you're going to have a better way of overcoming your hurdles and your challenges. So I want to encourage you, my friend, your resilience, your courage, your determination, how you look at the world and motivate everybody around you is the medicine that is helping someone that is looking up to you. I want to wish you a very, very fantastic year and I want to wish you a very, very wonderful moment. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and of course, don't forget to turn on the notifications bell. I've been Yugaman, and I'll catch you guys again on the next video. Cheers.